Look at me straight face. This little fucker had to bite the brand. And I didn't sell anything the first 12 months. I think I sold 3,000 copies in 12 months. And you guys might have bought them. My label was pressuring me to make another album because uh, that one wasn't doing very good. And I was uh, starting to go into the studio to make a second record and give up on the first one. I was kind of going to change my style because I didn't want to be homeless again and I really wanted to <laughs> get played on the radio. Uh, Bob Dylan asked to take me on the road so I gave up that album for a minute and I went on the road with Bob Dylan. Which is kind of cool because when I was 16 I had a dream that I got to open for Bob Dylan. Oh my God. <laughs> Just five years later, I actually get to open for him. It was really, a, you know, a dream come true. Oh my God. Except that uh, I was a little worried because there was more to my dream. <laughs> came up to me and he was like, Joel, you're not, you know, I just, welcome to the road, but I want you to know that Mr. Dylan does not watch the opening act. He doesn't see the opening act. Uh, so let's just get that straight. And I was like, great. <laughs> so I sang little songs and I did my little shows. I was acoustic. And after about four nights, his tour manager comes back up to me and he goes, you're not going to believe this, but Mr. Dylan is requesting your presence in his dressing room. <laughs> and I was like, But you can't not meet Bob Dylan, so hey, exactly I'm going to have my turtleneck. <laughs> He's really a nice, uh, perfect gentleman. You can't make girls happy. He actually was uh, the reason I kept with my so first album. Um, I told him how worried I was. And, that I was kind of feeling pressure to change, and he was the one that really encouraged me to keep doing what I was doing and stay so acoustic and keep writing what I was writing. Um, every night after a show, he'd take me down and go over books we were reading and lyrics. He'd talk over my lyrics with me, and uh, this is a song that I wrote during that time, obviously influenced by him. This is sometimes a beat. Yes! Yeah! Cause I wasn't that real 